Hello and welcome to Stable Hands Pet Design Studio, where we will be bringing you animal themed crafts and DIYs. Please join us on this new journey by hitting the red subscribe below. You can also find our social media and other helpful information in the description box below. Hello, tonight we are creating a simple and quick DIY dog costume. We used a candy tote uh, reusable bag purchased at the Dollar Tree with this pumpkin face on it. I also used this ribbon also from the Dollar Tree Halloween themed fall themed orange plaid. I'm going to be using this craft glue as well as hot glue. Scissors of course because we need to cut the bag. And that's what we're going to start with. We're going to take the scissors and remove the back piece of the bag. You're going to cut along the seam and we're just removing the back panel. You want to leave the sides and the bottom of the bag. So I just slid my scissors along the back seam as we move around the bag. Um, I do go back afterwards and trim up what I missed, but once I figured out that the scissors would slide just right along the seam, it was a pretty straightforward, simple cut. Um, I did watch this um, or see this suggestion on either Facebook or YouTube from another person. Um, I there was not really a whole lot of instructions so I thought I would make an instructional video and just kind of figure it out as we went. So here you see I removed the back panel and I've left the sides and the bottom and here I'm going and cleaning up that edge seam as I mentioned previously. Smaller scissors might have been a little more helpful here but they get the job done. I've had these scissors for quite a while. They were probably my mother's at some point. Um, but, and this isn't necessarily a, you know, must do part of the project, but we do it to keep our lines clean. You won't see it once it's on the dog anyway. Um, so just snip, 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 snip. Luckily it was just this one seam that I needed to clean up. And we'll throw those bits away. Now we're going to work on opening up this bag, the remainder of the bag, so that it lays completely flat. And to do that we'll unfold the sides. And you'll see that there's two corners, two pocket corners still that exist. So we'll want to cut those so that it opens up flat. I cut through the back seam along this line to separate the side from the bottom. Sorry it's off camera. I use an iPad face downward so I can see the screen but I have to look up to see the screen. <laughs> And again, we'll do the same thing in this corner. Cut through that corner seam, follow the line, so that you can separate the side panel from the bottom panel so it will lay flat. Just like this. The next step is to go actually put it on the dog so you know where you want to place your ribbon pieces. So I will be stepping away momentarily to go do that. I am back. I have measured it on, or eyeball measured it on my hound dog. I have grabbed a Sharpie marker here. And I will be putting the ribbon right below the eyeball line. That lined up with the area directly behind his elbow. For those coarse folks, that's also known as the girth area. And so that's where I want to be able to put the tie that is going to go around his midsection to help keep the, the bag, the, the pumpkin outfit on him. So again, 
the ribbon needs to go where is where the pumpkin eyeballs were. So I, I lined that first line up with the bottom of the eyeball. And now I'm using a ruler to just measure straight across. So when I put the ribbon on, it is fully lined up. And I apologize if you can hear my children playing in the background. Now here I'm debating, I need to add some ribbon here as well so we can attach this pumpkin to the dog's collar to help prevent it from sliding left or right off of the dog's back. Um, I was trying to find the center and then, you know, measure out from the center so that the ribbon ended up on equal sides of the center um, while still being centered. And again, I'm horrendous at math. My first thought on what would work did not work. And I'm here I am just wasting time trying to figure it out when in the end, I just equally put it about half an inch um, inside each of the strap pieces. Again, this piece doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it straight and for it to look pretty good. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm just going to leave it and, and wing it because that's, that's how I DIY. I wing some things. You make it happen. So again, this is the front of the bag. Here, this part goes towards the butt on the dog. If your dog will tolerate it, another option is to put a loop right there where I was showing you that will go under the tail. This is another way to keep the bag from sliding off left or right. Um, you will want to measure for that because you do not, and you want a softer piece of ribbon or string as you do not want it agitating the dog. I am leaving that off for our dog because we won't be doing a whole lot with him um, out and about. So we don't, it, movement of the costume on him is not a big deal. So here I'm lining the ribbon up with my first mark. I, again, am winging it and guesstimating um, how long of a piece of ribbon I need. I actually did a really good job. It fits him, it ties, it gives me plenty of room to tie underneath him. I've decided to tie it. You can also use elastic or Velcro to secure it around your dog. Um, or if you found a smaller bag, you can use it on your cat. I chose to go with ribbon because it's what I had on hand, it was easy. Um, so you can tie it. Here I'm adding the ribbon pieces to be able to attach to the collar. I will note that I was looping the bag straps through the collar and coming back and planning on tying the, the ribbon to the strap. Um, However, this ribbon piece is not long enough. I thought it was, it is not. I would suggest making it longer. So here I did probably about half the length of the handle. I would probably go at least three quarters of the length, if not a little bit more. Um, but again, it's not a long-term wear costume that I was planning on for our dog, so it wasn't a make it or break it for us. <clears throat> But once I get them split in half, so there's two tie pieces, I'm then pulling out the Crafter Square clear glue um, and gluing it down. I will be in a minute, once I get the glue on here and under the ribbon, using one of those um, silicone makeup applicator brushes that you can purchase from the dollar store. Um, to hopefully help keep the glue off my fingers a little bit. <clears throat> as you will see, I'm going to glue that one down as well. And then I make adjustments to make sure the ribbon is on straight and aligned. And that I use the makeup silicone makeup brush um, to really seal it down, push it down. And here, <clears throat> the glue squished out because I put too much on. 
and the instructions say to wipe it up with water. So I just got some water on my paper towel and now I'm going to wipe up the XX glue um, so that it's not a mess or a problem. Um, but I did end up off video. You won't see it in this series. I did end up using hot glue to secure it because the glue wasn't drying fast enough for me when I did this project. And despite my original reservations on using the hot glue to secure it because I didn't want it to leave the, you know, the hard lumps that hot glue leaves, I went ahead and decided to use hot glue to secure it in place while this glue dried. Um, as you will see, in the closing videos, the ribbons hold very well. Um, I did cut, I think, a part of it off of the video, so you might not see it, but um, my kids thought that the pumpkin on the dog was quite interesting um, and a new toy. And so it did get pulled on and tugged on. And the dog, I'd also been giving the dog some, well, the kids, some Cheerios. <laughs> And so the dog was getting Cheerios too, and he was very excited. Um, here I'm just gluing the second ribbon. Nope, we're doing the first ribbon on the side. Um, and so I put some glue down. I cleaned up a little bit of the edges. And I am just pushing it down where I want it to go making sure it's below my mark line so that it lines up with the dog's girth area. As you can you see also I've been I put on a clamp and a full paint bottle to weigh the side down so that it lays down flat for me to be able to glue. And I did glue from the inside edge all the way out to the outside seam. I wanted to make sure that the hold was as strong as it could be. I figured the longer the longer um, hold was good. I was attempting here to clamp it down to secure it, but then I realized that I would probably be getting glue on the clamp, and then the clamp would be glued to the ribbon, so that probably wasn't the best idea. So I unclamped it. Here I'm finding the center of the ribbon and I'm going to cut it in half so that when I go to secure the other side, I have my two separate ties of the ribbon. I'm going to remove the weighted items so I can spin it around so you guys can see it and I can also reach it a little bit better. And as you can see, despite my fear of those ribbons not being completely secure. In moving it, they never moved once. So I think the hot glue might be a little overkill, but the Craftsman's or Craft Square held it so that I could move it off my table and work on other projects once this was done. So again, just applying the glue below the mark. Enough that you can see it, but not so much that it will squish out. I'm putting the cap on the glue. I apologize. Pushing that down, make sure it holds and isn't bubbling off of the bag. And now I'm weighting it down again to make sure it's a flat surface for the ribbon to adhere to. Here I'm lining up the ribbon on top of the glue strip line that I made and just tapping it down, making sure that the glue and the bag and the ribbon are all connected. And that is securing the ribbons, your ties, onto the bag, which is now a pumpkin costume for your dog. wiping glue off my fingers and I did decide to go ahead and use my heat tool, my embossing heat tool to dry the glue a little bit so that I could 
um, hopefully make sure the ribbon doesn't move and secure it to the bag for movement. And all done, complete, ready to try on your puppy dog. Here's our Ruru dog sitting patiently, kindly for me to show you the bag. Pumpkin costume. Thank you for joining us.